it's time for our jobs segment and today we're talking about an interesting developing vocation and joining me is Peter Byron instructor at Rosemount Technology Center welcome to the show Peter so today the focus is all on industrial drafting so when I hear this for me I don't understand what that is perhaps people watching don't as well so tell us in a nutshell what this course is all about uh, industrial drafting is all about uh, helping helping companies uh, cr uh, design and create the drawings necessary for manufacturers mm -hmm. to take a, a concept um, and manufacture it. Okay, is this a vocation that's in, in high demand these days? It is in demand. Everything you look around you is man-made, and and everything that's ma that's manu everything that's made is manufactured, and it needs mm -hmm. drawings. It's a it needs to be communicated from concept to design. To manufacturing. So let's talk about a, a, a part of industrial drafting is, is, is 3D printing and how this is, is rising. To, so tell me how that comes into play here. Uh, 3D printing is a technology that's definitely having an effect on uh, the manufacturing industry uh, as a whole. It's being it's been used for over 25 years in um, product development and prototyping, but companies more and more are taking that technology and using is it. Is that what we're seeing right now, by the way? This, this is 3D printing? This is 3D printing. Okay. Um, companies like BMW um, are starting to use this as a process to create parts within models of their cars. Really? Um, because it's, uh, it's an inexpensive manufacturing process uh, in low quantities. Mm -hmm. um, so so high-end models that are not produced in large quantities um, can use this type of technology to create parts. Very interesting. And I mentioned this has evolved a lot over the years, this technology. It has, definitely. Yeah. It's evolved, it's become much more uh, popular, much more common, uh, but it has been around for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. um, MakerBot went, has done a lot to try and bring this technology to the consumer, right. which really has kind of opened people's eyes to the technology a lot more. Okay, I can't help but notice the prop that you brought with you, yeah. this robotic hand. So tell me about this. Well, uh, in the process of uh, looking for some design projects for our students to work on uh, that involve 3D printing, uh, I came across an organization called Enable, which produces these uh, mechanical hands and they give them to people with upper limb differences. Really? Um, so these are always uh, produced uh, by volunteers. They're designed by volunteers, produced by volunteers, and given at no cost to the recipients. And this is a project that you're uh, uh, trying to do now with the students in, in, in called a, a Makerspace, which is sort of a... Well, Makerspace is kind of a social movement right. to, to bring design to the public. Um, and um, and we're trying to get a. We've been working towards getting our own maker space up and going at Rosemount to give design students more uh, opportunity to do some hands-on uh, building and sort of like their own workshop in something a, in like a way? that. Yep. Okay, interesting. And uh, yeah, this was a project we came across while researching that. And do you so. see that students really enjoy that, that sort of hands-on uh, opportunity? It's still in development. We haven't yeah. quite got there yet. Okay. Um, I've actually been spending some time in a local makerspace here in Montreal, Helios, uh, which uh, has given me a great opportunity to see how they run their shop, mm -hmm. um, develop some connections and networking, and it's been a great opportunity. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, uh, Peter. Now we know all more, all <laughs> more about industrial drafting and 3D printing. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you.